Hello parents, today we will, we will be showing you the Baby Jogger City Go car seat installation and base. We will be using the latch method which stands for lower anchors and tethers for children. This is the 2017 Chevrolet Malibu and we will be showing you some things that are unique to just this vehicle. Before you get started, please make sure that your vehicle is on a level surface. It is not on an angle, incline or decline such as a driveway because that will help you when you set this car seat later as well as making sure that you make read your owner's manual for the car seat and the vehicle before you do any installation. Make sure we remove the car seat from the base. We will do that by pulling on the handle, the release handle on the back side, squeezing that in and then lifting straight up and the car seat will come out just like this. Now you can set the car seat aside for using later. All right, now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you put the car seat um, in the right position in the rear row of your vehicle. Um, we are going to be putting it in the passenger side uh, of the vehicle uh, because it is better for, for safety reasons um, to put it there. So next, what you want to do is look for the car seat icons, which we will show you a close-up picture of later. Um, not all vehicles have these, but some do. They have little car seat anchor icons. This is where you will connect your latch connectors later, and we'll show you how to do that. Um, but that does vary. Locations and style of how those anchors look does vary by vehicle. Um, next, I want to show you the different level indicators. So as we zoom in here, there are two different level indicators. There is a light blue and a dark blue level indicator. And on the side, you will see the instructions for how you use the different indicators. Uh, make sure you consult the owner's manual for the correct uh, indicator that you will be using. For today's demonstration, we will be targeting the light blue indicator. Now I'm going to show you the adjust recline, which is in the back, as you can see here. This has six different positions, and as you turn it in a counterclockwise motion, it lowers the recline and as you turn it in a clockwise motion it will raise the recline. You want to make sure and what I recommend because from experience is that you should start with a little bit of a a bigger recline um, and then adjust it from there um, because what happens is as you tighten the base onto the uh, your seat you'll notice that the level indicators will change some slightly so you want to make sure that when you're done with the full installation, the level indicators are in the right position. So start with a little bit of a higher recline and then adjust from there. Um, it may take you a couple tries. It took me about three or four to get it right for the first time, so don't get frustrated. Um, and it's also helpful to have another person to help with the installation, uh, but it's not required. And now I'm gonna show you how to connect the latch connectors to the seat. The latch connectors are located on the bottom of the car seat here. The first thing you're going, you're going to do is press this red latch release button. You're going to press it in really deeply and then pull outward. And then that takes out the first latch connector. You're going to flip the car seat over and do the exact same thing with the other side. Press in on the red button and pull out and that will release your latch connector. The next step we're going to do is loosen the open the seat belt lock and by simply lifting this gray latch, this opens the seat belt lock and this is going to be the adjuster um, tether which we will use later. Next what you want to do is you want to take your connector and if you look on the back side, there is this little arrow and we'll show you a, a close up picture of it later. There is an up arrow with some directions telling you the way that it should be positioned. Essentially, you want the latch to be upward in this direction and you want the side that says inward facing to face the seat base here. Once you have that done, if you come around and see back where the anchor connector icon is, we're going to actually pull this back, exposing the anchor that you can see down in there and taking our seat belt connector, inserting it directly into the anchor making sure you hear the click and do more of a push, pull, push, pull, push to make sure that that anchor is secure and double check it. 
and you're going to repeat the same thing with the other side. Now what I recommend doing is before you attach the other latch connector is you adjust the strap to give you a little more slack, a little more room. Now it's a little bit confusing um, and it takes a little few times to get it so how you're going to do this is there's a little silver uh, button over here. You're going to press it down just like that and then with the other side of the belt you're going to feed it through. It takes a few presses but you're going to feed it through slowly here so it raises up. We're going to press it back down and then you're going to pull so that you can give yourself some extra slack here. And you can see I'm, it's pulling this side here, so we want to pull that out to give yourself some extra pulling slack. This will help with the installation um, and assembly. The next thing I'm going to do is take this and install it just like I did on the left side. Make sure the right side and I make sure it's secure by pushing and pulling. And the next step we're going to do is to tighten the base down to the seat. So you want to make sure you put the base up there in the right position. As you notice, this vehicle here has a little bit of an incline, um, so you want to make sure you rest the base up and then it's going to press it down as you tighten. This will allow us to make sure that the level indicator is in the right position at the end of tightening. Now during the tightening of the base, you want to make sure that you pull the strap back through this hole here. You're not, you don't want to pull the strap in on the outside because it won't allow you to tighten down the base properly. So take the adjustment strap and what you want to do is you don't want to press down because that's going to cause the base to go up. You want to press kind of in the middle with either your left or right hand whichever is stronger and as you're pressing down you want to pull on this adjustment strap. Um, now what you want to do is you want to kind of alternate pulling, pushing and pulling on the left and the right sides to give you a very secure and snug fit. Um, Alternatively, if you're not very strong with pushing, you can use your knees, put your weight of your knees right here on the front, and then pull this adjustment strap super tight. Um, you can also use your foot if you have enough room. I'm a little big here, but you can push on the right side, then alternate push on the left side, and tighten that strap as much as possible. Now that you've tightened and down your base, you want to go and check the level indicator to see make sure you are still in the zone you're targeting. Again, we are targeting the light blue zone, so it looks like our bubble is in the light blue zone, which is great for what we're looking for. The next thing you want to do is sit next to your base, and they call this the seat belt path. You want to put your hands kind of in that seat belt path and go from left to right, side to side, kind of push and pull. Make sure the seat doesn't move more than one inch or 2.54 centimeters. If it does, you want to tighten the, uh, the base down to make sure it is secure. So that looks good there. And then you want to get to the front, kind of grab it by the sides here, and kind of pull forward. You don't want the base to move more than one inch um, in the back here. Because if you do, then it's not tight enough. Once you've done that, check your level indicator again. Make sure you're still in the blue, light blue zone, or the zone that you're looking for. Take your adjustment strap fold it over the, um, the belt lock and then we're going to close the belt lock down just like so. Now you've got the base completely secure. And the next step we're going to do is install the car seat back in the base. Double check, make sure everything looks right and then we'll be done. Now we're going to take the car seat and install it back in the base. You see this metal rod here, you're going to want to make sure that comes in contact with this metal hooks here. That's how you're going to make sure you have a secure car seat. So we're simply going to take the car seat and you're going to drop it in and make sure you're here for the click. You hear that audible click? And what you want to do is kind of push it, pull it, make sure that the car seat is secure and did it move. Um, and then also go back and check your level to make sure that your level is still within the zone that you're looking for. So ours still is in the blues, light blue zone, so we're still good. Um, the next thing is that with the Baby Go City Jogger car seat, it has several different levels of adjustment for the handle. Know that you can put the handle in any position while the car seat is in the vehicle. Um, but just note that when you move your seat back, um, the front seat back, make sure it doesn't impact or touch the handle or any part of the car seat because that's going to adjust the position of the 
car seat here so you want to make sure you watch out for that um, lastly make sure if you are uh, if you have any questions consult the owner's manual for the car seat or the vehicle um, for more information on any of the products you see in this video or in or other informational videos please click on the links below in the description uh, thank you for watching and have a safe day